In today's video, we've got another easy shiny hunting method for you to take advantage of in your copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So today's easy shiny hunt is going to be for Flamigo, the new fighting type Pokemon that we've got in Scarlet and Violet. And this is probably the easiest method within these games for you to go out and get this brand new Pokemon in its shiny form. So this method, if you are familiar with the Tad Bulb shiny hunting video we did, it is very similar to that. We are going to be wanting to fly or travel up to the Glacido Mountains, the highest point in Paldea is the location so on the map it is just northeast of the glissado gym it is located right here as you can see on top of the mountain is where we'll be with this sign once you kind of interact with the sign you'll have this as a fly point so you'll be able to come back to it now we're flying here because you can't set a picnic up where we're actually heading to so you want to just get yourself down into this kind of flatter area where we are here just down from the sign and you'll be able to set a picnic up and as, as always we will be making a sandwich with encounter power level three and sparkling power level three but this time for fighting types. Just make sure before you set the sandwich up to save your game. So if you don't get the shiny from this method, then you will not waste any ingredients. So as always, I will put some recipes on the screen and they'll be linked down in the description below. So if you would like to check some different alternative recipes out from what we're using here, um, just to mix up the Herba Mystica, then check them out and you are more than welcome to go with whatever you want. I'm just going with this one because I'm running low on salty Herba Mystica, so it's the easiest one for us to get this sparkling and counter power for fighting. And there you can see we've got that sparkling power and encounter level 3 for fighting type. So that is exactly what we need. We get that bonus title power as well. So once the sandwich is set up, you're going to want to head down to the left side of the mountain. You'll see this river just below you here. And that's what you're wanting to head towards. But to the left of it, there is a ridge where we are going to want to go. And that is where the hunt is primarily going to consist of us looking for this pokemon so just on the map this is the location where you will be so just a little bit kind of north of the highest peak point and this is where you would be at the kind of mouth of the river or the top of the waterfall area here once you are on this ledge here you will start to notice the flamigo kind of spawning in so you can use your camera function to get a closer look at the flamigo you're probably not going to need the zoom function like you did for the tad bulbs but here you will see the flamigo will start to just spawn in in this spot so it's really easy just to sit here and wait for a number of them to kind of spawn in and if they aren't spawning in quick just move your character around a little bit and it should kind of initiate the the rest of them spawning so the color that we're looking out for these flamigo are kind of darker pink i guess because the shiny is a lighter more pale pink um, and that's what we're looking out for and all you need to do is wait just let them spawn in and there'll be a maximum number so once a certain number have spawned in in this area then you're not going to get any more spawning in so what you would do in this situation is you would just run because you can't set a picnic up here to despawn them just want to move away from the cliff side here until all of them disappear and then move right back onto the the ledge again and you'll be able to just put your camera straight back on and take a look and they should all keep popping in over here it does get a bit tricky when it gets weather conditions like this you're going to get snowstorms so it can get a little bit awkward for spotting them but you kind of just have to be kind of paying attention which you do for most hunts anyway so it's not like i need to tell you that or remind you but like i say if they're not spawning in super quick just move your character around just try and get a bit closer to the edge and they should spawn in a little bit quicker on the other side of the ridge. And you can see they're coming in at a really good pace now. And all we're doing is going to sit here and wait for the shiny to spawn. So we'll just need to move backwards and forwards. Like I say, once the maximum number look like they're not spawning in anymore, you want to just quit out of this and then just walk right to the other side of this ledge and until all of them have kind of despawned like that and then come back to the same place you were in on the edge and they should all start spawning in again and when the so snowstorm's not active you'll have an easier time spotting the shiny when it pops in but like i say you just need to kind of pay, pay attention and you'll see they're coming in at a good rate now so you'll be able to fly through these and get a good amount of them in the 30 minutes that you've got with your sandwich power 
And there it is. We've got the shiny. So you can see it quite clearly. You just need to jump over at this point and then grab it. So just be aware. You can drop a save as well if you want. But there we go. It's quite obvious that it is the shiny. Definitely want this in a love ball. So what I'm going to do is just run. I'm going to drop a save and then I'm going to try and get it. Drop a save. And I'm going to try and find my scissor with a false swipe. My shiny bird, come here. Come hither, shiny bird. There we go. False swipe it again. And then let's try and get it. If I can get it in a love ball, that is incredible. Let's see. Can we get it? We get it in the love ball. Yes, that is perfect. Happy now. So friends, that is how you get your shiny Flamigo in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. A super easy way for you to get it. And I hope you are able to get it a bit quicker than what I was. As I say, it took me a couple of sandwiches to get the Flamigo this time around, but really happy that I was able to get it. And remember, if you do come across it, you can drop a save if you want to get in one of those special Pokeballs like we did. And I do feel like this is the best area in the entire games for where you're going to be able to get this encounter and an isolated encounter is that where it's super easy to get this brand new Pokemon to Scarlet and Violet. If you found today's video useful, please drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.